I want to turn now to uh, Jeff Sessions, uh, senator from Alabama. He is also a Republican, and he doesn't want any part of this bill. Uh, senator, I, I've just got to ask you this question. Uh, do you think Republicans get it on immigration? Because people like Lindsey Graham are saying, if you don't do something uh, reaching out uh, to Hispanics, you might not, it might not be, uh, might just not need to run anybody for president next time because with the demographics changing in this country, it's going to be impossible to elect a Republican president if you don't get substantial Hispanic report, uh, support. Bob, we need to do the right thing, right thing for America, and I think uh, appeal to all people, particularly Hispanics and African Americans and minorities. But that why are, here. are you so much against this? Well, I'm this opposed amendment. to the bill because it doesn't do what what it says, Bob, uh, this bill grants amnesty first and a mere promise of enforcement in the future, even with the Corker-Hoban Amendment, of which has been put in now a 1,200-page vote we'll have Monday afternoon that nobody has read. Uh, these uh, promises of 20,000 agents won't take place or not required until 2021. No money is being appropriated for that. This merely an authorization. The fencing, uh, we passed a law to have 700 miles of double wide fencing, double layered fencing. That, that, this bill is weaker than that. Uh, and it gives, it has a specific provision that says the Secretary Napolitano does not have to build any fence if she chooses not to. And she's publicly said we've had enough fencing. So reason this bill was in trouble, reason this amendment I was thrown in here at the last minute was because the promises weren't fulfilled and uh, this uh, legislation, uh, this amendment doesn't fulfill its promises either, frankly. And we're going to have amnesty first, no enforcement in the future. We're going to have increased, we're going to have continued illegality, at least 75% according to the uh, CBO report. And CBO concludes that the legal immigration will be dramatically increased uh, and uh, we'll have in addition to that we're going to have lower wages and higher unemployment according to the CBO analysis of this bill. Why would any member of Congress want to vote for a bill at a time of high unemployment falling wages to bring in a huge surge of new labor that can only hurt the poorest among us the most. What kind of a uh, political message does that send to Hispanics? Bob, Hispanics are here today by the millions. They're working in the twenty to forty thousand dollar income level. Their wages will be impacted adversely. Their ability to get a job, to get a job with retirement benefits and health care benefits. Somebody needs to speak up for them. And I really believe that the numbers in the bill, the lack of enforcement effectiveness in the bill. Uh, puts us in a position where it will impact all Americans that are out there working today adversely. And the CBO has said that. The Federal Reserve in Atlanta has said that. Harvard economists have said that. There's really little doubt about that. And so I think we appeal to, we move away from ethnic politics. And we try to appeal to all people based on what's best for America and for them. So uh, as of right now, do you think this bill will pass the Senate or do you think you can defeat it? Bob, uh, they said it was a, had 70 votes last week. And then all of a sudden it started sinking when people learn more about it. I think if people find out this amendment does not accomplish what the sponsors believe it does, I think the bill could be back in trouble again. All right. Well, thank you very much, Senator. We appreciate you coming by this morning. We'll be back.